guys, it's week nine of traveling with Vicky to listen to music and this week we are going to go to Armenia and we're going to listen to the ancient and very traditional Armenian instrument called the duduk and the duduk is what is called a double reed wind instrument. The double reed means that the player is blowing through between uh, two reeds and in the case of the duduk, they are very wide reeds, about this wide, which compares to the Western orchestral instrument called the oboe, which is quite narrow, right? Um, so this ancient instrument, about 3,000 years, can be dated back to the around 1200 BC in the time of the Armenian emperor Tigran the Great. The earliest instruments were made of bone or cane, and they're now almost exclu well, exclusively, they are made of wood from the apricot fruit tree. And that's why there's a picture on my website of the duduk sitting on a layer of apricots. The apricot is also the national fruit of Armenia. So to make the uh, duduk, out of the apricot fruit tree. They wait until the tree has sort of got tired of producing its fruit, uh, apparently about 50 years for an apricot tree, and then they dry the wood and they drill, bore the holes through to make the instrument. And there are various sizes of the duduk. So traditionally the music in Armenia will be for two duduk players. One of them will be doing what's called a drone, and that is sustaining a single note. And the other dudu player will improvise and play an elaborate melody around that drone. The other instrument that we may know of at the moment that does a drone is the Australian didgeridoo. And the other thing that the dudu and the didgeridoo have in common is that players both use what we call circular breathing technique. And that means that the player is, to put it bluntly, breathing in and breathing out at the same time. They collect air in their cheeks and blow into the instrument and will then inhale. But there will be enough air left in their cheeks that the tone of the note continues. So, if you're not lucky enough to have live duduk music near you, you can plan to go to Yerevan, the capital of Armenia. And there they have an annual duduk festival. You can go to classes, master classes. If you play the instrument, you can go to duduk concerts and you can pick yourself up a duduk instrument. This instrument is just incredibly sad sounding, hauntingly sad. Although the Armenians for themselves uh, use this as an expression, this instrument is for them an expression of joy and sorrow and they will play it for uh, weddings or funerals. It's been used in movie scores, television scores, video game scores, uh, the ones that stand out would be the Gladiator, uh, Hotel Rwanda, and Game of Thrones. So I've chosen music this week, including the duduk, with another ancient Armenian instrument called the oud. The oud goes back thousands of years as well, and is played throughout the Middle East, North Africa, and Central Asia. However, it's also a part of the Armenian tradition. And so here we will listen to these beautiful duets of both the duduk and the oud. Enjoy this wonderfully sad and happy instrument. Ciao. 